That hood is heinous. That hood is, this is the worst super hood I've ever seen. That hood, that is the physical embodiment of a man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's that's right. not making, that's not making it in, huh? <laughs> I'll take it. That'll just be a long beep, it's okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Collector Car Feed, your inside look at hunting, buying, and selling collector cars online. Today is another ranking session where we take a look at recent for sale listings on Facebook Marketplace and give our honest opinions. Today we're looking at the god tier 90s flagship, the Mark IV Toyota Supra Turbo, an FR layout with the legendary turbocharged 3 liter straight 6 2JZ GTE claiming 280 horsepower due to the Japanese automaker gentleman's agreement, but in reality putting down a bit more than that to the wheels from the factory. This grand touring sports car has been selling for over sticker from day one, it's popular popularity and value only growing over time to the six-figure prices they can be seen fetching today on auction sites like Bring a Trailer. This ranking session led to a few heated subjective debates about the predecessor Mark III Supra and its place in collector and tuning communities, the attractiveness of objectively heinous body kits, and a ranking of 90s Japanese taillights. If nothing else, these 40 minutes of alcohol-fueled rage are sure to spark some debate, so be sure to let us know what you think in the comments, and be sure to hit subscribe as we are going into this episode with over 990 subscribers. This is absolutely your last chance to be in the OG under 1000 subs club, so don't miss out. Finally, we found all the cars we looked at today using CollectorCarFeed.com, so if there's a Neo Classic you're searching for, be sure to check out the site, link in description. We make it easy to find exactly what you're looking for without all the hassle and nonsense of actually using Facebook Marketplace. With all that out of the way, here we go. What's everybody drinking? Rum and Coke, proper. Tight, tight. I have a Bell's Oberon. I was drinking beer at my old neighbor's house, and but all I have at my house is straight whiskey, so I'm drinking some McAllen 12-year-old. I got Corona Familiar. All right, we're live on YouTube. Do not say the F word. Real quick, what what is the F word so I know not to say it? No, you know what it is. I got the Supras pulled up. Do you guys want to talk about anything before we get into this? I thought I said something real quick about Mark IV Supra versus the Mark III. Okay. The Mark III, the Mark III Supra. Hold on. Let me... What are you eating? I got pizza in my mouth. Hold on. Let me swallow this. <laughs> Y'all talk real quick. Versus the Mark III versus the Mark IV Supra. I already know what he's going to say. The Mark III is the Cope car. The Mark IV is the Mark. Okay. Ones. Yep. The Mark III. The Mark III would be shit without the Mark IV Supra. The Mark III Super rides on the coattails of the Mark IV. If you're a Mark III Cope fa Whoa, you God did it. it! Come on! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> if you're a Mark III Cope baby, get over it, dude. You know the Mark IV is superior in every single way. Bigger, thicker, girthier. I want to interject with a counter-argument. Yeah. As somebody who doesn't give a shit one way or another and won't own one of these, I don't have, like, the Mark IV on a pedestal. And I think the Mark III looks cooler, and it's got that rad, which is what the ladies like these days. No, ladies do not yes. like that. Ladies <laughs> Sorry, do not what, like that. It's what all the boys like these days. Yeah, yeah. there you go. That is, there you that go. is true. It's what the Zoomers women, like. They like that, uh, that say, outrun women. style, right? Women the, yeah, Mark, the construct of your imagination. And pop-up headlights, come on. The yeah. Mark IV is the superior car. It. The only reason the Mark III exists is because of the Mark IV's glory. And get get the fuck over it. What exists? That's it. I don't like it came first. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what are we saying? Was, here, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say like the Mark III was 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 first, and then they made the Mark IV. Okay, let me specify <laughs> for the idiots. No, you can try again. It's okay. The only reason anyone even talks about the Mark III at all, in any reason whatsoever, is because the Mark IV superiority. You don't but think, I think it looks that cooler, you, though. So you're saying it like rides on the coattails. It exactly rides on the coattails. 100% rides on the coattails. In the tuner community, absolutely. But realistically, if the Mark IV Super didn't exist, people would still like the Mark III Super. It had the one no, JZ. No, no, no. It, it, it would be. It, Bro, what are you talking about, man? No, it had the seven M GTE. Yeah, here. I mean, your 240 has a KA 24 DE here. But no one would care about it. It, it would be another Starion. Bro, I'm out, man. I'm tripping. I posit this question. Is the Mark IV Supra too thick? <laughs> no. no. Nah. Nah. I like out of all of the nineties. Like cars, when you stand right? by it in real life, it's kinda hefty. It's yeah, thick but okay. tiny. Pull up Mark IV Supra versus 
R35 GTR. Out of all of like the JDM legends, like certified JDM legendary cars, right? I think the Mark IV gets the most clout. Personally, I'm more of an Evo 5 kind of person myself, but I can't think of anything else that's got more, more clout than that. No. The, the R34 GTR right next to it. That's the only yeah. thing. Yeah, there you go. That's probably, you're right. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it is way smaller than the R35, and even, it kind of looks like it's smaller than the R34. Damn, a little bit. Right? The R35 is kind of a hog, you know? But basically, the the Mark IV Super is the lowly of the cars, which in in and of itself is a, a pro. It's, you know, the best that Toyota's got versus, you know, you put it on a pedestal with like the R34, which at the time was the best that Nissan's got. It sure. is it is a JDM legend. It's and uh, it's easy to understand why they're so expensive, especially on bring a trailer and everything else these days. Yeah, to be clear, hey. I, I don't in any way disagree with you that the Mark IV is obviously way better than the Mark III, and the Mark III is only as popular as it is now because of the Mark IV. You're making, uh, your point makes a lot of sense, but if there was no Mark IV, people would still like the Mark III. They would like it as much as the Starion. No fucking way. That thing blows away a Starion. I don't even know what a Starion is. Mitsubishi Starion, Starion, the, um, what is it also? The Chrysler Pull it up Con Conquest. Picture. Conquest. Uh, Conquest. This little... Oh yeah, this thing. Chubby yeah, this little box sick. boy. Yeah, these are like these this. are cool too. Yeah, but you know, they're very uncommon because yeah. it, it's just something that not a lot of people really care about. Oh brings up a good point. How much how much would people like the Mark IV without Fast and Furious? What's the Fast That's and Furious? That's what I'm telling you. This? That's what I'm telling oh. you. But it was no, but, but, no, it no. was huge before Fast and the Furious. It, it yeah. was, it was, it was. But what do you think the bump from Fast and the Furious? Massive. Did I knew to I this? knew a dr I don't know where I'm going with this, but the point is, yeah, man, Fast and the Furious gave a massive bump to the Mark IV Supra. I don't think they they'd be it. nearly no, 100 grand no. now. I disagree. I disagree, because where's the Eclipse bump? The Eclipse is the, is the oh, real yeah, hero car. Where's the Eclipse bump? I don't think that the the Eclipse is really the hero car. He just has that for, like, the first race and blows it up, and then he gets the Supra, like, 30 minutes into the movie. But that that's the car I think of. When I think of Fast and Furious, I think of the Eclipse. All right. So anyway, fuck the uh, fuck the stereo. <laughs> fuck Nobody likes that. that. Yeah, we went down a <laughs> went uh, down a path there. On that one. <laughs> but I have some supers pulled up. I guess we should look and see what these are actually worth. So how are we uh, tiering it this time? Okay, so we got a new tiering system, or a little bit revamped tiering system, going from S to F, right? No matter what, they're all pieces of shit. They're all Fs. This fucking guy. No, there's some expensive ones in here. I mean, there's gonna be some shit, for sure, but S tier is a car that's underpriced, and clean, and just obviously a good buy. A and B are priced about right, but clean, and a good way to get into owning that platform, if that's what you want to do. If you just want to own a Supra, an A or a B would be a good choice. And then C through F are gonna be overpriced or destroyed or, you know, just garbage. Real quick, Air Jumper, Air Jumper on uh, YouTube is asking, have you guys seen the deleted scene that shows how Brian got the R34? I don't think so. What is this? This is like a montage? You've not seen this? Yeah, yeah, no. Like this shows like what happened. This good. shows him going from wherever the fuck the first one took place to. LA. To oh, this, LA. this explains him traveling to Florida? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Florida. And here's, he's asleep. There's a girl. He sex with her. Oh yeah, he's like, like they. Nice. Hey, we did sex, you know, like. Like they found the and car. Then he's walking. Oh, and he's oh like, there's I, the hero car from Too Fast. Yeah. <laughs> <And> like, <laughs> I know, I know you're wanted, but you're like hot as hell. I wouldn't get in a car with that man. It's bad news. And she's like, I got that ass. <laughs> this is still when the 2000s looked like the 90s. Get the fuck out of here right yeah, now. That's yeah. Busted. <laughs> but also, this was like what. 2004? Like this, this car just come out. Like, it was like, it was yeah. like yeah, 04. Uh, the first one was oh, 01. Ferrari. Like right before 9 11. Pretty much the peak of human existence, the first Fast and Furious movie. Yeah. I, I worked at a point. movie theater in, in 2003, and I remember seeing the Too Fast and Furious posters. Do you remember all the time that was between Too Fast and, and Tokyo Drift and how we thought it yes. was over? And then they're like, Ugh. nope, best Those one ever's better. coming out. Those were better days. God, that was sick. Yeah, that really was the peak of humanity. Oh, uh, <laughs> it was brought to my attention that I've been saying sick too much. Uh, so we're going to try some newer slang to not date this so much. Uh, today, I'm going to be using fat. When something's nice, <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be fat. I use I use rad in real Look life at these flat a lot. 2000s asses. <laughs> I say I there's nothing going on I'm there. I'm 90% sure you, you feet are the one who got me to say sick all the time as I well. Say, so I like, say way too much. But you do. Neck please don't say 
instead of sick. I don't want to have to beep everything. <laughs> All right, so Mark IV Super, we know what it is. It's got two JZ, yep. it makes 280 alleged horsepower. It makes more, uh, and they're worth a shitload of money. Uh, guess, let's look at Bring a Trailer, I guess, real quick. Just to <laughs> get a baseline. Just to kind of set our, right. Don't forget lot number 69420, which is that great one right there. Oh, and that idiot, <clears throat> some, other, some other fucking idiot bit it more than that. What an asshole. It only went for like $1,000 more, too. It went for like yeah. 70 yeah, like, let it go, dude. Somebody had to be a bitch. 84, 54, yeah, $71,000. What a jerk. 63, $135,000. We could have been having a utopia, but this motherfucker's holding us back by not letting the 69420 bid go. <laughs> Agreed. 100% true. All right, $84,000 with 86,000 miles. And you can guess the ones that are like 50 are gonna have like 150,000 on them. This one's an import. This is right-hand drive, gross. This one, 79,000 miles, $71,000. 77,000 miles, 63 in March. All right, so the, the transmission's making a big deal. This one's 52K, $135,000. All right, all the low price ones are JDM. It's looking like 40 to 50 grand is your range for like JDM turbo cars. And then above that is gonna be USDM based on how many miles they have. 1993 Toyota Supra turbo liftback, $95,000 listed eight hours ago in Revere, Massachusetts with 149,000 miles. Is it, is it, is it turbo? Is it USDM, is it turbo? And is Which it hard turbo? top? It is turbo, it is a slick top. And is it manual transmission? Uh, not a single picture of that. It says it's a manual though, so I would assume it is. Uh, yeah, I think so. Is this a repaint? It could be. His The wheels are terrible, but as much as we rage at it, he's he's really not outrageous. I mean, we just looked at a ton that were like 80,000 miles for twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 less than this. I mean, yeah, not I think... And also, yeah, and this is double the mileage. This is 149,000 oh, miles. High. Okay, I, I didn't see the mileage. Yeah, he's 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 dumb. <laughs> what are we saying? D D on this one? That's gotta be a D. Yeah, I, I think that's legitimately a D. It's just it's too expensive and too high mileage. Good example, bad yeah. price. Yeah. And Park Parkside Motors on YouTube is is absolutely correct. Supers with stock wheels, they get bonus points. Absolutely. That's what you're looking for. I want full stock. I don't want, you know, I don't, I don't want four yeah. pages of modifications. Although <laughs> this one is entirely OEM stuff, so that one doesn't count. But the rest of it, I mean, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, the, if you look at the engine bay, it doesn't look like it's anything completely insane. Yeah. But it's just the price is off. The price is just way too high on this thing. Give it give it another 20 years, this price will be good. 95 grand, and it's got a Mich uh, Mishimoto radiator in it. I was going to say, that's got a Mishimoto? Get the fuck Gross. out of here. Bro. What, what were you saying, Nugger? keyboard on youtube is saying hard tops cost more than targa and that's crazy well, the reason is because generally the hard top is the stiffer the chassis and it doesn't it's also leak. rare i believe yeah but yeah and also it, it doesn't leak it doesn't leak and also the targa's a bitch to take off like you know how in fast and the furious he just like flips it off so he can go jump on yeah it's like truck? bullshit yeah it's it's like four allen keys like you have to have a drill oh. to take that thing off gross you, really yeah same thing with the uh the c4 the C4 Corvette's the exact same thing, and maybe even the C5. I'm not sure though. Like, you gotta do no, actual this, work. No, the, the the C4 was two was two torques uh, in each corner, and that was it. You pull it off. Oh yeah, it might only be two. It might not be four. But it's, either way though, like you need It's tools. not a latch. It's yeah. It's, you, you, you need no, to get no. Out it was. You have to do it. It was yeah. Function. It was a process. It was a process. Yeah. All right, so we're going with a D on D. this one. Agreed. And fuck them. All right. So 93 Toyota Super Liftback, $50,000 with 104,000 miles. Already way better than the last one. Very short description. Got an R154. It's a five speed, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Is the swap? Yeah, it's yeah. like a, a turbo swap or something. Yeah, I don't. He doesn't say if it's an original turbo car. Well, it says it's got a turbo netics on it, but like he doesn't. Oh, it's say got a 1JZ an... in it. Right. This, this, this isn't a 2J. This is a 1J. So this is a probably a NA body with a 1J swapped into it. Yeah. Well, I don't know what to make of this. Nah. It, this is a this is a D. I don't know, man. I think I think maybe a C, but I mean, it just is. Well, what, yeah, what's a, wait, what's what a 2J say? gonna cost you? Like 10 grand, 15? Yeah. What did we say? If you wanted to like own one, it would be a B or a C. Yeah. This would be, I think, a C. Because it's not, not a lot to go on, but... though. It's not a lot to go on, and it's like a weird modified. Thing. like and thing is if you if you want a super you you want a real fucking car like the factory what it came from the, from the factory that that's really what, what where the value comes from 
Right, 100%. The price is a lot better, to be very, very clear, but I mean, it's not a it's, it's not a 2JZ Super Turbo. It's, it's something yeah. else. Yeah. And then you meet him and he's like, by the way, it's a salvage title. Absolutely. That no. would be the case. Like, why else? Well, I guess if it was an NA and this was done back in the 2000s when NAs were like 15 grand, that would make sense. I don't know. This is, this is, a, this is a weird one. I, I think we can just settle on a C and move on. Yeah, I'm good with yeah, that. Yeah, that's fine. Here is a 94 Toyota Supra, $86,000, Sarasota, Florida, four days ago, 122,000 miles, has a new paint job. All right, no, uh, yeah, it was painted two years ago, and the paint is an 8.5. He just had it ceramic coated. Uh, engine turbo. rebuild, bunch of parts, got RPF1s on it. Looking to get $86,000. He's got a bunch of bullshit mods that, like, everybody does. Yeah. But. It's clean. It's clean, but the price is too high for the miles. Yeah. Better examples on bat. Better examples on bat. Although, I mean, I don't think it's priced crazily. This is probably also no. a C. Yeah. Yeah, like if you want to get one to drive, then yeah, this is it. Yeah. Here is a 94 Super Turbo 59,995 with 68,000 miles and automatic transmission. Financing available. This is at a dealer of some sort. Isn't this top end for an auto transmission? Oh, it's yeah. right-hand. Right yeah. yeah no. This is this is the absolute top of of right-hand drive pricing. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is it turbo. Is it? Yeah. It looks. Yeah, it yeah. And it looks mostly stock too. Okay, but it but here it's right-hand drive, and it's automatic. So those, those are two big detractors. Yeah. No. This is in in my eyes. This should be like maybe around forty. Like if it was bone stock and and lower, less miles, it'd be worth this price. Yeah. They'll. I'm sure they'll get. They'll, they'll probably get 60 from you know some cloud chaser but yeah it wouldn't be it's not gonna it's not a good deal they can if, if you can finance a mark IV supra some instagram <laughs> yeah. is going to buy this car yeah yeah i'd say uh because it, it is cool it looks nice but yeah absolutely i like the trd wing too but this is this is probably one of the few cars that that right hand drive uh detracts from the value this is I, absolutely not the only car that right hand drive attracts from the value. <laughs> Every car that was available in, the, in America in left hand drive is going to be worth more than the equivalent right hand drive. Yup. As um, long as it's stock for stock. Okay, so like the S13 Silvia, that is clearly an exception to that. But yep. like an MR2 Turbo, right hand drive turbos are worth half what a usdm mr2 turbo is worth people nut their brains out over 70 series land cruisers and right hand drive <laughs> yeah Did, were those there, available was no, here? there was no, no 70 series ever in america you could get them out of the middle east and that's the only way the only way you can get right hand drive ones so when they come here no lord out of people spend out of japan sorry oh, i mean my. i mean left hand i'm fucking got my no <laughs> my, my size oh mixed up. okay okay uh, yeah, yeah. about to be yeah. wrong again damn yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> no. No. so this is a d yeah it's a d <laughs> yeah, it's a, i'll call it a d that's fine yo let's just take a moment to appreciate that this guy's got an r33 in the background of this supra picture no this guy's no cool. this Tight. guy's cool it's it's not a gtr so you, you get no respect from me i don't know i like those uh those gtsts yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I, I can't hate on this. Yeah. I will. Watch me. We know. He's a man of man of culture and taste. What's going on here in the front bumper? See, do the do the Seymour. This is original twin turbo six speed hardtop car. One out of fifty eight. Very rare. He must mean for this color and configuration. I have all the VIN stickers. It was it, few was removed for paint and we'll need to install it back. The VIN sticker was removed for paint. Our door jam and door Connor panel and those will need to be put it back in easy. 42k on the mileage. Rebuilt title Rebuilt. in hand. Ugh. Boo. Boo. That's why it's sick. F minus. Oh, yeah. well, stop. Stop wasting our time, dude. Put that in the fucking beginning. Yeah. F. That's Block enough, this dude. guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy here we go here we have a Oof. re uh, is this the re ami maya kid is that how you say that maybe everyone's laughing at it i mean it's hideous this sucks probably, probably laughing at my inability to pronounce whatever the fuck that word is i don't know all my jdm shops okay but we have here a 93 turbo eighty two thousand dollars listed two weeks ago in huntington valley pennsylvania fifty three thousand miles on it Recently purchased this car and just testing the waters. 
doesn't say what the kit is. All mods are in picks. Twin turbo six speed. If it's an original twin turbo six speed hard stop. Airbag At the hard, mileage. Hard stop. At the mileage and it's molested. Ew. Ooh. Gross. Got the full gross cage wheel. Gross cage. Gross kit. Gross turbo. Damn, even the turbo's gross. Yeah. It's a Garrett. Gross. It says it's an original. Oh, here we go. Every, uh, oh, here we go. What's going on with this thing? Everything. Top secret carbon fiber hood, charge speed body kit is what that is. It's a GT35R turbo. Oh, it is a Garrett. Yeah, this car's not what worth the fuck's this money. Up? I knew that. <laughs> charge speed body <laughs> kit, man. I mean, it's over the quarters. I mean, to, to redo this, you're talking about a lot of money. Okay, so listen up, kids. Listen up, kids. If this if this motherfucker would have got this car and not touched it, he would have had a fortune. Yep. Every dollar he put into it was five dollars he lost on yes, resale. Yes, he it, fucking with it ruins it. Ugh. Do not don't modify these cars like this. You, you you ruin them. You lose all the value. If he would have not touched it, because look at all the money that he spent, fucking it up, and it, it goes to what to nothing. He's asking eighty two thousand. He could have sold a stock, a stock fucking night through super turbo six speed for more than that without spending anything on it. He might have bought it like this, to be fair. He, yeah, he probably bought it well, like this. He money. said he just yeah. bought it, but like. Well, look at those fucking broccoli tops standing in the back there. It's Tommy <laughs> F. Yeah, and two broccoli hair zoomers. You see it? <laughs> these are the pictures from when Tommy F. Yeah sold it to these broccoli haired kids. Yeah. Because that's what this looks like, is these broccoli haired kids probably bought this for like a low price because the guy knew what he had originally. No, and now they're like, they oh, bought shit, it. It's a super. They bought it. They bought it for a high price and they're trying to sell it for more. They need to eat this thing into a light post and move on, dude. This sucks. But yeah, 53,000 <laughs> original miles on it. That sucks that this happened. This is, this is I think F. this is an F. Yeah, it's 100%. It's a straight up F, dude. Here is, this one's sold. $60,000 two weeks ago, Sacramento, California. 165,000 miles, 60 grand. Clean title. Swapped with whatever the hell this is, et cetera, et cetera. Clean. Clean as fuck. Well, it is a few rock chips what's there. The, what's that swap? It says it has a, a G GTE GTE VVTI. Yeah, that's a 2J. Oh, so it, so it's swapped from this is an NA swap to a 2JZ turbo, I think. Yeah, not the cleanest actually. Look at that little crunch. Somebody fucked up rolling them fenders. Yeah, the fender. Fuck it. It's a super fender. That's, that's what they. That's what <laughs> they said dollars. though when they were like rolling it. They were like, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, though, pretty clean. But I mean, that's a lot of miles. But 60 grand is kind of on the low end for what we've seen as far as prices go with us so i i think it's yeah. maybe a c yeah so yeah this is a c if you wanted to own a supra this is the one keyboard 342 says uh would it hurt if i manual swap my 01 new edge mustang and that would not hurt anybody that would only no because the like, ones are already at the bottom they're already yeah nobody <laughs> cares already yeah, yeah no, you you would only be increasing the value of it i think you you could shit in its mouth and i don't think anyone will care I like new edge Mustangs for what it's worth. Ignore these. I, I I like them too, but every fucking Tom, Dick, and Nancy has fucked one. You know, like yeah, and there's a billion of them too. So I mean, yeah, yeah. and nobody wants an auto, so swap it. It's only gonna help it. It's only gonna yeah. help it. Yeah, like a manual swap is a value add. Is that the true in like all cases? I would say that's a that's true in most cases. I mean, it would have to be a particularly rare car for people to be yeah. like, okay, oh, no, no how about it. this? How about this? Put in the comments. Do you do you guys think of any car that a manual transmission swap will lower the value? Put in the comments. I, I don't think you're gonna find one. cars that didn't come with a manual originally. Okay, look. Okay, so toothpaste is right. He says a Boeing 707. If you swap to manual, that would hurt it. Okay. And yeah, I'll, I'll give you that one. Yeah. All right. So this one's sixty-nine thousand five hundred dollars. It's ninety-five hundred two thousand miles. Dope uh, miles. It's an import. It's listed in kilometers. It's probably right-hand drive. Let's, yep, there it is. It's got a like a yep. Kaminari body kit on it. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, look at that. It's like a 240 know. SX body kit. I don't know. It kind of looks sick. I'm not going to lie. Hey, no, it I, does yeah, not. I, I, I'm not. No, I don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't, I don't hate it either. Oh, I'm I like it. I, 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 it. I, and, dude, brain, dude, I know, <laughs> no, no. I'm I'm the biggest, I'm the biggest stickler on it, and, and I don't hate it, man. I'm tripping. Put it in the comments. Do you do you hate it or not? Let this be on the record. Neckier likes self-tapped body kits. He loves fiberglass. Fuck off. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. Put on record that feed puts words in in his co-host's mouth. It's not the only thing. Yeah, but my <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, the that TEs looks... look really nice on there. I think that looks tight. I think that looks Sick. fucking I mean, horrible. Tight. But Rad. I, I was, okay, so how about this? It's 69 grand with 102. This is 60,000 less miles than the last one we looked at. What drug it down? What drug that price down? It's that body right hand kit. drive. It's no, the drive. Right -hand yeah. drive. oh, you're, you're oh, God damn it, I'm wrong on that. All right, all right, this is an F. Fuck this car, it's yeah. hideous. It's the ugliest <laughs> it's one we looked at today. This is a bitch, C. bitch is mad. Bitch is mad. It's a C. <laughs> No fucking way, oh, dude. Mad. 70 grand no, for a JDM one? This is a $40,000 yeah. car. It's a D. It's a D. It's I'll fine. Go D. I'll go we'll D. I'll go D. Is that TRD uh -oh. or is that just somebody yeah. with a fucking Dremel tool cut up their hood? Right hand drive. R154. TN. How do we say it? Tyne? TN? Coilover? Tain. Tain? I think it's Tain. Oh, that's right. Tain. Almost like Taint, but not. Yeah. Ooh. That, that Fast and the Furious that. Showdown. <laughs> Look at the tack. Oh my God. God. Yeah. Kill yourself, dude. F minus. Minus. That ain't it, man. How much was this? $70,000. Yeah. 40,000 miles. But you're out of your mind. But what I'll... happened here? Another one I'll... that was ruined by the owner. Yep. I'll take that other... That the last one we looked at. Yeah. All eBay day. coupler kits. Oh, yeah. I think the kit on this looks better than the last one. Doesn't look good, but it looks better God. than the last one. He's not letting it go. That thing Dude, looked like it, dog <laughs> shit. It looked fine. There was nothing wrong with it. You are cracked out tonight. There is no... When you're sober, you're going to regret saying you like that kid. Look, I didn't, I did, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mind kid. it. I didn't, I didn't hate it. Kid. Yeah, it looked fine. He, he's he's seething right now. Yeah, he's, 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 okay, but how about this? One? Look at that. <laughs> it's half a car. It's half a car. No, oh, wait, no the other half is there. The other half is right. No, it's over there. Yeah, it's up yeah. on the curb. Oh, yeah. yeah. You think you're at a car oh. meet? No, one car. $250 <laughs> million. Dollars. This is a, a meme, Lord. I'll give this an F. 69,420 miles. Classy joke. Does it come with the sub, though? Look at those wheels that were on this thing. Like, even if this thing was together, what was going on? I don't on know, there? man. The mileage and the money is pretty good. Here is a $97,000, $55,000 in Tyler, Texas, four weeks ago, 183,000 miles. Wait, there's parts missing on the hood. There's holes in the hood. Oh, yeah. No, oh. gross. Interesting choice. Bad. Oh, very cool. Boo this man. Yeah, what an idiot. Rebuilt motor. Stop. Yeah. Yeah, this is a mess. But nice 50, shifter, bro. 55 grand, though. I mean, consider the price. It's just the hood. What's a you're Supra right. hood yeah, cost? You're, you're, you're right. 50, it's for just, 55. A, just a hood, but it's also a rebuilt motor. Yeah. But for 55. C CX Racing Intercooler. A lot of great parts oh. were used on this build. Yeah. No. 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 What is it? No. Spared no expense. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going to pass on this Bought one. What the dog. best eBay had to offer. Fucking Supra eBay build. I hate this person. You know, but yeah, I guess that that me hating that person is not going to stop somebody from buying it. As a driver, a car fixing the hood deal, it's it's uh, really high yeah. mileage. Yeah, for the miles. Oh wait, that's one eight three. I thought that said one three three. Fuck. One hundred eighty three thousand on it. I, I think D on this one. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's give a, it yeah. a D. Give that one the D, and we have whatever this is. This. It's look got like the Celica. Wheels. Look at the side skirts. It's got like the uh, like the Celica 6G yeah. side skirts on it. Yeah, yeah, kind of. I like these wings better. Like the big coupe wings. Oh yeah, the, the stock wing is the best is choice. Yes. A lot going on here. Uh, Ninety thousand dollars, alleged fifty thousand miles. I'll bet that's on the engine. And ninety grand. If I didn't already say that, I think I did. There's no info. The description is right-hand drive, twin turbo, target top, six-speed, 525 horsepower, rare car, super fast. <laughs> super fast. No, it's super I... fast. Uh, I don't trust mm, it. Not for 90. Rebuild engine, rebuild title. Yes. Well, especially because it's right-hand drive. Yeah. It's and, important. And the wheels are cancer. Yeah. Wheels are bad. Highly sus. Do you pronounce it sard or is it S-A-R-D if you're going to say it? I say Sard. Yeah, I think it's Sard also. Quality JDM parts is my point. I mean, really, the only thing to knock in the engine bay is the fact that he painted the, you know, the cover red. If that's all he did, like he said, it's got 525 horsepower. Those those didn't come like that from a factory. And you know what? There there's so there's so many words in in that that you come across that you never say in real life. You only read them. Oh yeah. You know, for instance, 
uh, the, the, the aircraft company, B-O-M-B-A-R-D-I-E-R. I had only ever read that in my life, and I think, oh, it's, it's, it's Bombardier, you know, like, okay, yeah, but Bombardier, they make, they make, it. it's Bombardier. Yep, Bombardier. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. stupid. What? It's French. Yeah, so Bombardier. That, that, so when that, you see a that, ski-do Bombardier, it's actually Bombardier. Bombardier. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What? That 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 yeah. separates the men from the boys is, is if you say Bombardier. What but if you've fuck? never said it, if you've never spoken in real life about that to, right. to another person, you know. Shut up, Toast. We know you're part French. How do you pronounce? How do you spell Bombardier though? Like like pilot to Bombardier, right? Like that's a position in a plane isn't it yeah 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 it's like like yeah pilot to bombardier is that so should he be saying pilot to bombardier <laughs> yeah he should he he's he's uh he's an idiot yeah i don't know if i buy that but i don't want to look it up and make you look dumb so we're gonna go with bombardier <laughs> that dude you no know, i can uh, i i i, can I, I wish it, the, i wish it was it. i i wish it was different but that's that's the truth that's wild all right so this one's insanely overpriced this is a year enough yeah fuck that fuck um, that car yeah give him enough fuck him 1994 mark IV supra v1 66 speed manual with a 2jz gte blacktop if the ad is up it's still available no trades what did you want for this 60 grand 57,000 miles the right hand drive yes it is <laughs> that That's that it. ain't oh, that ain't no but that ain't bad though if it wasn't for the heinous body kit on this thing, that wouldn't be bad. Yeah. I'm gonna say though, like even if you like the body kit, a body kit is reducing the value. You do not have the OEM front bumper, back bumper, like the, the side part where the scoop is, the yeah. hood. Like those are thousands of dollars in parts, plus the you know, the cost of having it that, painted. That hood is heinous. That hood is this is the worst super hood I've ever seen. <laughs> Easily. Yeah, it's not great. It doesn't, and I know it's a reflection, but it barely looks color matched. That that hood, that is the physical embodiment of a man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's, that's right. not making. That's not making it in, huh? <laughs> I'll take it. That'll just be a long beep. It's okay. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, you, you have to be right, alive though. to and, hear it. And also. <laughs> You're selling a $60,000 car and you're doing the $5,000 car trick of spraying it with the hose before you take the pictures? Yeah, get the Man, fuck out of here, dude. F minus, dude. This is an F. No, I'm mad. Absolute mess. Wow, this one's clean. Uh, That's cute, yeah. 1997 Toyota Supra, $66,990. Munderline, <sighs> Illinois, 172,000 miles automatic transmission. But USDM, proper left-hand drive. Clearly been repainted. Like the side markers are missing here. Uh, yeah. But it, but it ha it has like rip RPF ones. Yeah, yeah. It's like eBay RPF ones and and probably fake brids or yeah, brands. yeah. A hundred percent. They're because they they come in a pair. I'm sure they're fake. Yeah, man. Doing the Japanese stuff and having to pronounce everything is such a pain in the ass. <laughs> I don't care. I I mean I've I've like kind of like ribbed you all about saying brid, but. It's fucking bride. Like, who gives a fuck? Everybody, you know? say, everybody says bride. Everybody says bride. Yeah. Who the hell says brid? Japanese Nobody. people. Japanese people. Bride. They don't count here. Bridu. Bridu, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's a stick, business. actually. This is, this is not an automatic. No. Oh. Unless, unless he put a boot on it. But I doubt it. I'd rather have, I'd rather have that car than the last one. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Miles is up I, there, though. Just, the price yeah, is the just a little high up. for the miles. You know, the thing is, though, everything that we're going to look at Everything is going to be high for the miles ultimately because these are, you know, they're, they're trying to get what they think it's worth on Bring a Trailer, but they're trying to do yeah. it on yeah. Facebook. And, it's an and, auto. and and also every every car that we look at, I'd like to have it. So oh yeah, yeah. no yeah, I mean, like, the biggest piece of shit we've looked sure. at. I mean, I would love to own still. Yeah, yeah for real, for I'd real. I'd love to own the one that was ripped in half. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so the the note says it's an auto though, so Does that it? puts it quite high on the price list does it say that in here yeah um above the very top there new auto trans oh so he's faking with the yeah he's the posing yeah oh, poser. Oh, huge so... poser massive poser yeah all right so that really drops its value 67 grand hundred seventy thousand miles i'd call that for the, yeah for the yeah. miles it's a d 95 dollars. i think we already looked at this one 
Yeah. Yes. This, this is the one that we all love. This is yeah. The, yeah, this is the body kit one. This is yeah. the... No, this is the only it ass ain't we've bad. seen so far. It ain't bad. That front <laughs> bumper is so fucking bad, dude. It does not look bad on that car, dude. It, like, it doesn't you know line what? up properly. It, like, looks like it's falling off. And that thing it's in the middle fine. Of, the, of the... You're so crazy. Like, it's this. fine. Okay, but can can we can we all agree that the taillights of the Mark IV Supra are the god taillights of all Japanese cars? FD. FDRX7. I hate to disagree with everything you're saying fuck. today, but the FDRX7. Get the <laughs> it's, fuck. Put them up side oh. by side. So you so you like so you like fucking S13 hatch taillights. Oh wow. Look yeah, at this. Everybody likes the Ty Type X taillights are awesome. What are you talking about? Get the these are so much better than the Mark IV Super Stales, also. No, not, they're, they're not. Let me find some OEM ones. No, yeah. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm with the, the RX-7 ones. They're the nice ones. Over, over the Mark IV Supra for Hun stock taillights. Yeah. Stock million for percent. stock. Look at that. Look at that is a Get million times better. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, a million better. times better. In the comments, what do you think? Is, is Neckier too drunk to, to tell us what taillights he actually likes? Also, you the don't like 180SX Type X taillights? What the fuck is that? They're fine. I don't. I'm not saying they're bad, but Mark IV Supers are better. A Mark IV Super overall is absolutely a better car, but 180SX the... Type X tails are fucking awesome, dude. Sheesh. Is it, these are sheesh, sheesh, dude. Big sheesh. It's hard to find a good picture of them, but man, that's a good looking back. I think that this is some fucking couplet cope, to be honest. <laughs> the Supra ones though are very distinctive. I guess all of these are distinctive in their own way. The, the, yeah, the don't FD, get me wrong. The yeah, back yeah. of the Mark IV Supra is great looking. I just like, think you the FDRX7. Yeah, no, I'm with you. The FDRX7 is much better. I don't know if you could even go much, to be honest. I mean, just disagree they're, with everybody. Uh, they're <laughs> they're way better. They're they're you're you guys, you're dumb, dude. <laughs> you're, you're ignorant. You're, that's all. As long as you're ignorant, you're this naive. This looks so good. Ignorant zoomers. It does. It does yeah, look so good. Okay, but okay, bring bring up a Mark IV Supra. We've been looking at him. Look <laughs> at how sick that looks. It's a sick car, aside from the Honestly, body. Honestly, it's like the same damn light. Yeah, no, they're very similar. Yeah, but the Mark IV Supra does it better and sexier and faster and, and thicker. cleaner and thicker. I don't know about cleaner. I mean, look at that third brake light just stamped on there at the top. At least yeah. it's integrated oh. in the RX-7. I think it's in the glass. Or is it in the middle, like the black part? Yeah, yeah. for the black part. Either yeah, way, you can see it. Yeah. The black piece, yeah. Yeah, you guys got me convinced. Yeah, this looks better. Big. Yeah, it is. Look how good that is. That shirt fucks, by the way. That's that's, <laughs> that's, that's the quality. 1993 Super Turbo, $85,000. Seven weeks ago, Clearwater, Florida, 49,000 miles. It's at that same JDM import yeah, shop. Right-hand drive. Way too fucking much money for this car. Uh, the 90s shop. I'll give him a D, but this, this is just D, way D too D for much. period correct shit, but yeah, too, too Yeah, look how clean that is. I'll give him an S specifically for the taillight. 1998 Toyota Super Turbo Hatchback Coupe, $100,000, 200,000 miles. Ooh. Nope. Where's is... the nope fucking sound thing? Oh, uh, it's over here. Hit it, hit it, nope. hit it, hit it. There you go. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. <laughs> 1998, <laughs> 500 wheel horsepower, 15 PSI, can be around 800 wheel on 30 PSI, but of course he has not tuned it that way yet. My god. $100,000? You're insane. Yeah, he gets out his gourd. F. F, F. F for yeah. freebasing I mean, all the cocaine you had to come up with that price. 41,500 miles on this 97 Supra Oof. limited edition turbo liftback hatchback. Uh, speaks for itself. It's a four-speed auto and completely stock with 40, 41,000 miles, and it's a sick color. This is very, very clean, but it is an automatic, and it's $115,000. Yeah, even if it is a limited edition, the automatic still wrecks it. Yeah, but... Who bought this? Not, n not a big deal to swap it, and 41,000 miles is absurd. I, can't, I could not, in good consciousness, give this a D. I think this might even be a C, no. honestly. That's really low it, miles. I can't it, imagine somebody actually bought it for this much. Yeah, but though. no, but he's got it, a point, though. Like, something this low miles, even with an automatic, could have gone for that kind of money on Bring a Trailer. Yeah. Let's, for let's, 100 let's, let's, K? let's Let's see what over $100,000 Supers look like. Also, note the um, the background image here is that same color, green. I would imagine that's one of it's the rare, rare color. colors. Yeah. It's called green. 
Yeah, so I mean, there's been a bunch that have sold for that. Like, this one sold for 135k, and it has 52,000 miles. And it's modified. So I guess yeah, you could make money on it. It's basically a whore. Here, here you go. 58,000 miles, $137,000. So $112,000 for this one with 13k, and also, this was back in 2021. Yeah, this one's gonna end up back on bat. Yeah, absolutely. For sure, with a, with a manual swap. I think it's more like a C, maybe even a B. It's absurdly yeah. clean. You might be right. Yeah. Necker, Neck what were you gonna say about it? Uh, I was gonna say how how can you look at this car and and delude yourself into thinking that a Mark III is better than this? Oh, no one thinks that. Yeah, the, the only person saying that is coping. Yeah, you're 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 smoking pure copium. Yeah, no, one hundred percent. You are in the copium den if you think that a Mark III is better than yeah, this. Yeah, you're f you're you're free basing cope if you think that a Mark III is better than this car. Cope to the dome. We're still uh, on this thing. I think we're agreeing that this is uh, at least a C. Yeah, I think I'm I'm fine with that because like it's the price you'd pay for it on bring a trailer. I think. Yeah. Okay, so look on YouTube, Al Marco Bender brings up a good point. <laughs> He says Netgear likes the super taillights because they look like anime girl eyes. Interesting. I feel like that would have gone off better if anybody but Netgear had read that. He he <laughs> he brings up a good point, you know. I want to bring up a point. What's that? Click on that GR Super. Let's compare how bad it looks in Ugh. every way. The it looks every like an time angry I see bug. one of those. <laughs> I, did you see that angry like, chihuahua know, yeah. it was like a 15 second video where they were at the shot where, where they were at like a car show like right when the super came out and it was just a montage of is that a supra is that a supra bro is that a supra every time i see one of these new ones that's all i can think is that a supra this thing's ugly i've seen these in person and like in person they are kind of sick I, no they are they are very sick they're even chunkier than the last one in person I, I no i don't like them i don't like them I wouldn't, I, I, I'd, I wouldn't kick it out of bed, you know, but I wouldn't pursue it either. Eight weeks ago, 41,000 miles, $60,000, 1994 Supra TT Auto right-hand drive import from Japan currently has just over 41,000 miles completely stock, except for the wheels and the wing and a bunch of other shit. He has the parts to revert it, though. Oh. That steering wheel's cool. ugly. Those wheels suck. That's some rust going cool. on there. No. Look at that, right, what's the look price? that bitch made hand. <laughs> Soft like a baby's ass. $60,000. 41,000 miles. Right hand drive turbo. Got some sun damage. Eesh. Timer's going off. No, no, Before you're dumb. Here is uh, 1993. Lift back. $85,000. Eight weeks ago. 96,000 miles. Life. There's a skyline in frame. This is probably right hand drive. Also, it doesn't Damn. have the turbo Just badge. It's an NA. No, it's a, Too much. It is a turbo, but it, it looks like it's an NA body. But this looks like a really clean install if it's a swap. License plate says Cope Life on it. <laughs> 85k firm. It's probably not a swap. I, I just don't know what they look like in in Japan. D. It's too much. It's too much money. It's a D, right? Yeah. D D D. D. Oof. D. It's got the yeah. Need for Speed Underground kit on this one. Hundred ten thousand yeah. dollars. Eighty four thousand miles. Cool. I guess. Lots of holes drilled Ooh. in your in your dash. Damn. It. it... One of twenty six, and I fucked with it. Yeah. yeah. The Imperial yeah, Jade this, Mica, that's what that cool color this is called. Dude, this, this, this dude fucked the car up. Just leave it alone. It is highly modified. Made 800 plus wheel horsepower. Uh, F. Under, yeah. under 100k though, man. I mean, I, he I don't know. Fucked he wants it. He, he wants he 110 fucked it grand up. for this. He fucked it up. Here is one more. 200,000 miles, $75,000, Lake Wales, Florida. The USDM Supra blows a short list of what's done. Original TT Auto swapped to a V160 with 60,000 miles. Car has cold AC and heat, no accidents, clean title, no rust. Clean. D. D, but, uh, D, but what's keeping it from being a C is the miles. Yeah. Yeah. Mileage or price, move one, and, and we got a much better rank. He should have unloaded before 200k. All right, so exactly what we expected out of Supras. They're all very expensive. They're all priced for collectors. But these people absolutely know what they have. There's no way that you could possibly own a toy, a Mark IV Supra at this point and not know what you have and not be asking over $60,000 for it, no matter what it is. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. No matter who you agree with about that hideous Veilside body kit or FD versus Mark IV taillights, or if you're a Mark III owner who Netgear slided in the beginning, be sure to leave a comment and let us know what the real score is on the topic. 
hit subscribe because you watched all 45 minutes of this nonsense, so clearly you found something about it engaging, if not entertaining, so why not watch every Monday? Thanks for watching, we'll see you next Monday. Collector Car Feed, now with over 990 subscribers.